Hello everybody, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me for this spring eyeshadow tutorial. I just realized I forgot to fill in my eyebrows, but I guess I can do it right after this intro. But anyway, we are doing a little talk through eyeshadow tutorial. You know I usually do voiceovers, but I wanted to switch it up today. And I'm going to be using the uh, Wet n Wild Heart and Soul eyeshadow palette. These palettes are really good. Wet n Wild eyeshadows are amazing. They used to be a lot better like back in the day, but they're still the best drugstore eyeshadows out there. So I wanted to do something easy easy simple spring I do want to do a wing today I'm in a like a wing mood and um, yeah it's just something maybe using like these two colors with a brown you know I did a purple spring look my that was my last video a purpley spring look so if you want something a little more colorful I'll link it up here but that's what we're doing today I hope you guys enjoy this video let's get into it all right, my brows are on and now we're gonna get into the eyeshadow so I'm gonna take this like peachy orangey color right here I am taking my Sigma E40 and this is gonna be like a transition I'm just gonna build it up um, let me tell you the leaf blower in this apartment complex usually leaf blows early in the morning around 7 30 8 o'clock and of course today the day that I get to stay home I have the house to myself and I can film he starts leaf, leaf blah, blah, blah. he starts leaf blowing right now. Like what? Why would he do that? I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it's loud AF. Anyway, me forgetting to fill in my eyebrows made me remember earlier. No, I think it was last week at this point. Nowadays, guys, now that I'm in school, I don't know what day is what. I don't know what I do. I it's my my brain is mush. Um, I think it was last week though. I was doing my makeup and I was onto like my bronzer, like my powder bronzer and blush and stuff, and I was like my makeup looks like crap today i was like usually like my makeup never looks like bad bad but that day i was like oh my god like why do i look so bad i had my mascara on sometimes i'll forget to put mascara and i was like man why do i look like this i forgot to put concealer on no concealer i didn't realize how important concealer is and concealer is important but yeah i was like oh my god i didn't put concealer on I'm taking a little bit of this brown. This brown is like super pigmented and I'm kind of like toning down the orange just a little bit. I still want it to peek through. I'm going to take a little bit of the darkest brown in the palette and again deepen this look up a little bit. Not going too far up. This is going straight in the crease and in the outer V. So yeah, with school, if you guys don't know, I'm getting my master's degree. I did mention it in a vlog. Um, now with school, after my full-time job from 8 to 5, which I get in I get in around 8, sometimes 8.30, and then I'll have to stay till 5.30, but I never leave at 5 or 5.30. It's always 6 or 6.30. So I get home, and during this time, Ricardo's also very busy, and he has to stay late. So I get home, I cook dinner, and then I immediately start studying and reading. Um every day and I do that because I do not want to sacrifice my weekends because what do I do on the weekend hang out with my family and I film YouTube videos and I told myself um, school will not interfere with my YouTube videos this is something that I love okay like we need we I don't know if you guys have this problem but me I need to be more strict with my time you know um, I'm sorry but I don't want to go to your house and sit there on the couch all day I would rather be in my own house and if I want to sit on the couch all day fine in my own house but also I want to be in my own house and I want to be doing the things that I want to do life is too short for me to do things that other people want me to do I'm taking some concealer and just concealing the inner portion of my lids because I want my shimmer shade to really pop. My time right now is way too valuable. I have a lot of things going on and at the end of the day, I need to take care of myself. And I think we should all do that. I'm taking this first shade and I'm going to lay it down as a base. Wow, this is so pretty, this color. Have I used this? palette before i think i have i know i've mentioned this a ton of times i also need to focus on getting out of this apartment um i just like you know i i make it sound so miserable and honestly right now it's just the space it's just the space like i have 
<sighs> like my clothes don't even fit in my closet anymore i don't know what to do and honestly like i feel like i work way too hard and like this is not you know i feel like i want to I feel like I should have more to show for it, for, you know, how hard I work. Am I making sense? Um, and also Ricardo too. Ricardo has a great job too. And it's like, this is what we're stuck with. Now it sucks right now that the housing market is so bad. It does not help us at all. Like we totally missed the mark here, but I, I'm just like, I gotta get out of here. Um, we also have the, me and, oh man, I got eyeshadow everywhere oh my god i'm just making it worse we have the situation where he doesn't really want to live where i want to live and i don't want to live where he wants to live so that's also like this right here is like we're safe with this area not even me i hate living here i hate this area but it's like where the hell else am i gonna go so i'm not giving up guys i'm not giving up i feel like the man should say honey where do you want to live okay that's where we're gonna live you know what I mean? <laughs> Ricardo's gonna be so mad that I brought this up, but I don't care. I need help, guys. What do you guys think? Can you give me some advice? Be on my side, please. I was about to do concealer time, and then I realized I'm doing a wink today, so let's do eyeliner time. I cannot believe how well I did my eyeliner today. I gotta give it up to this Wet n Wild, um, what is this? Good Grief Proof Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. This is part of their Snoopy collection. I'm sure they have this like regular, but they sent me their Snoopy collection, so I use it. It's really, really good. On that topic, I want to talk about Wet n Wild, guys, but I want to, I'm doing my concealer routine. Hold on, because you know, I reuse my YouTube videos and I create reels and shorts and stuff, just so you know. You guys don't know, I've always been a huge wet and wild fan since the birth of my youtube channel since like 2012 i've always liked their products because they're good products and they're super affordable they have reposted me on instagram before and then they just did it again recently and i just i really appreciate that because i don't have a lot of followers on instagram i have like 5,000, and the fact that they liked my content and reposted me like i'm super super grateful and they also um i'm not on their like main pr list i feel like companies have main PR list where those people get like everything um, and they get it like before it comes out with Wet n Wild they send me they send me PR boxes but I get it kind of like late when the collection has already launched and it's been a little bit I'm still super thankful don't get me wrong I got the Lilo and Stitch collection I got the Snoopy collection oh, I guess I just want to say that I'm super grateful and that they noticed me and it's a company that I love you know I have been posting about them since day one so for them to notice me and repost me and you know put me on their PR list I'm just like thank you so much I like want to cry every time they they comment and stuff. I'm doing the lower lash line, so I'm taking the brown, putting it right on the outer half. The darkest brown, that is. I'm taking a marketing class, and at the end of the day, and I wanted to ask you guys this, like, what do you guys, like, honestly want to see on YouTube? Um, like, what do you guys want to see? What are your wants? What are your needs? Um, what do you guys want to watch? I know youtube like everyone's views are down you know and thank god because at first i was like is it just me but a lot of people are experiencing that because you know tiktok instagram you know people still watch youtube don't get me wrong it's just not the same which is fine uh but i want to know what you guys want to see because at the end of the day for me i'm always going to be a youtube baby you know um youtube is my number one priority and for the most part, whatever I film on YouTube, I try and make it into a reel or a TikTok. Um, but yeah, my passion is with YouTube, but I just want to know what you guys want to see. Do you guys even like eyeshadow tutorials anymore? Someone, I was watching a video, I don't know if you guys know Jen Loves Reviews. I really like her videos. Those are super informative. She was like, yeah, people, like, tutorials just don't, they just don't get a lot of views. And I'm like... <laughs> My tutorials on my channel, my tutorials get the most views. Like when I don't post a tutorial, they use, the views are like Pfft. And she was talking about how people just, they know what to do now. Like people on YouTube have been doing makeup and teaching people for so many years that, you know, every people know what to do. So like they don't look for tutorials and stuff. And I don't know if that's true because I always, if I buy a new palette, 
I sometimes will look at other people's tutorials to inspire me to figure out, you know, what I want to do. And I think I would do that even if, like, I didn't have a YouTube channel. I don't know. So my eyes are done, but you know, I am going to be putting on some false lashes. Sorry, I know a lot of people want to see more um, tutorials with no, without a wing and with no false lashes. So I promise you this year I'm going to be doing more just like simple eyeshadow looks, but I'm like in a false lash phase guys i i love them like i want to wear them out but i don't want to look like crazy like too much so i refrain all right guys my eyeshadow is done i love this peachy vibe i love this eyeshadow so much i love wet and wild so um this is the heart and soul palette if you don't have it it's a great spring palette it's a good little everyday palette too um wet and wild eyeshadows are amazing there is something underneath my eye so that's all that i have for you guys today if you want to see how i finish up my face i usually post a reel a tiktok a short with my face makeup so just be on the lookout for that um let me know what type of videos you guys want to see in the future i'm here to serve you guys anyway that's it that's all i got thank you so much for watching thank you so much for listening to me i'll see you in my next video bye